when I engage customers, they say, well, we are a bit apprehensive about reserved instances. We know that we can say 70, 80% on reserved instances, but I'm committing. I'm committing for a year or for three years. What happens if something in my environment changes and I don't need those reserved instances? I don't want to be stuck with paying tens of thousands or hundreds of thousands of dollars for something that I'm not going to use. What's your take on that? They're flexible to a limit. Reserved instances may be canceled, but there's a limit of 50K in 12 months, $50,000. If you are in reserved instances with millions and millions of dollars. There's no way you can just, you know, slam the door and say, you know what, I'm out. You've committed. But if we're talking about small amounts that you may have misplaced, misconfigured, you chose incorrect type of a virtual machine, you can cancel, you can upgrade. 50K only applies to cancellations. You may reassign them to different subscriptions, to different resource groups, and you also may upgrade them. There's no downgrade option. This was valid in uh, September, October 2021. It may have changed. You always have to be aware, whatever you read or learn or view in videos on the internet or you find in an article, always check that because Asia is very dynamic and this may have changed, but I don't believe Microsoft is going to completely remove the ability to cancel. You even get a refund, which is prorated. So you cancel midterm, they give you back half of what you pay. If you remember, one of our clients asked us, how can we cancel? Because we want to change our location. We want to change the type of a machine. Some things you can just change in the Azure admin console where you procure resort instances. You don't necessarily need to cancel. One of the things, by the way, that very few are aware of, when you procure reserved instances for a certain type of virtual machines, you may shut down machines, you may spin up new machines in that particular scope of the machine type. It's basically a compute commitment. Azure itself assigns those discounts to the virtual machines in the same family of virtual machines. It's clever enough and it does it really well. For example, if you procure a 32 core VM, then shut it down and spun up four 8 core VMs, that 30 core discount will apply to these four 8 core VMs. But then again, if you really just want to slam the door, as I said, and just say, you know what, Microsoft, I don't want your Azure. I'm moving to Google. Then you may have an issue. 